In this video, we'll be discussing about the adenosine deaminase deficiency, which is a type of SCID that's severe combined immunodeficiency. It is a genetic metabolic disorder, which is caused by a mutation of ADA gene present on 20th chromosome. If we see its locus, it's at 20q13.11. We see this ARDA gene or ADA gene produces adenosine deaminase enzyme. And this enzyme is important to eliminate adenosine and deoxyadenosine. And it must be noted here that this ARDA gene is most active in lymphocytes. Here in this diagram we have the cell. Let's say this is the lymphocyte. And within the cell we have the deadenosine molecule. This deadenosine molecule is acted upon by ARDA enzyme and gets converted into deoxyinosine as shown in the diagram. In the same way, we have the adenosine molecule within the cell. And this adenosine is acted upon by ARDA enzyme and gets converted into inosine. But when we have the mutation in ARDA gene or ADA gene, that time we do not have adenosine deaminase enzyme. And both the reactions of adenosine are halted as shown in the diagram. Neither we get the inosine nor we get the deoxyinosine. Now this deoxyadenosine is converted into DAMP by the action of adenosine kinase. Then this DAMP is converted to DATP and this DATP accumulates in the cell which proves to be fatal for the cell. First of all it drives ribonucleotide reductase inhibition. And we know this ribonucleotide reductase enzyme is very important for DNA synthesis. But when it gets inhibited by the action of DATP molecules, that time DNA synthesis is halted or we can say compromised. Secondly, we see this DATP molecule also mediates the activation of apoptosis that leads to death of the cell. So in nutshell, we see this DATP is toxic to lymphocytes and it leads to lymphopenia. On the other hand, we have the adenosine molecule which is getting accumulated within the cell in the absence of ARDA enzyme. So this adenosine is acted upon by SAHH that's S-adenosyl homocysteine hydrolase. This enzyme converts adenosine to S-adenosyl homocysteine which is again toxic to lymphocytes and it drives the inhibition of transmethylation which is important within the cells. And moreover we see the purine salvage pathway is also affected when we do not get the deoxyinosine. And at last we see this disorder shows autosomal recessive nature. Means for this disorder to occur, the two copies of abnormal gene must be present in order for this disease or trait to develop. So this is what adenosine deaminase deficiency is. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. You can support me on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.